myself Ishod Chaudhary and I am a developer in the field of IoT along with the Microsoft Azure. At present I am working in the Cloud World Technologies and I am an author in the C-Shop Quorum 2. I write a lot of articles based on the Azure and Internet of Things and a few in the Visual Studio environment. So you can find my articles in there. My profile name will be the same that is Ishod Chaudhary. So now in the following article I am going to speak about getting a new pre-trial account from the Microsoft Azure. So for that you need to be giving your personal details but it is for just a verification that is you will be giving your credit card details or nothing more than that and you will be given hundred dollar uh, pass for one month in which you can make use of the Azure subscription. So here you are giving your credit card details so you might imagine that they might be charging from you because you have given credit card details but it is not like that. That is why Azure is called as pay as you go and there will be no hidden charges. If you want something then you have to manually configure that you want to get this and you, then they only they will be charging your money. So that you don't have to fear that when you buy a subscription or when you get a free trial where by giving your credit card details they will be charging money. So you don't need to fear about this. You can give your credit card details without any fear. So to do that click on the Google Chrome or you can use it. Here my edge is not working properly so I am using Google Chrome. So search as Azure free trial. Yeah this one. So when you search for this, you will be getting something like this. So here click on this one, that is azure.microsoft.com, this one, and this is the same thing. I am clicking on this one. So this will take me to the page of Azure in which they will be providing the free services, that is a free trial account. So here you can see, this. when you click on this, the same thing. When you click on this one, you will get the same thing, that is you can get a free trial. So remember, when you want to get a free trial, you cannot make use of uh, my, I mean an Outlook ID which you have used already for any other Azure subscriptions. So when you go on to get a free trial, it is sure that you can have to make use of a new Outlook account. So I am clicking on this one. This will be taking me to a page in which we will be speaking about the, uh, I mean giving the details to get an Azure account. Yeah, when you click on this, it will be asking your email ID and password. So remember again I am telling you, you have to use something I mean some mail id which have never been used for the azure services so i am giving a mail id as the following thing here we go i have given my email id and i am going to give my password let us sign in for now so once we sign in we will be asked to enter our phone number just a moment i think i gave a wrong password yeah now let me see whether it gets signed in yeah this is a problem with me i have a lot of passwords so i just confused with them yeah now it's logged in so when we get into this one, we will be asked to enter our phone number. The phone number which we are going to enter in, the it will be acting as a verification one. We will be getting an OTP from the Microsoft. Then we have to enter the OTP which we receive. Once we enter the OTP, then we will be asked to enter our credit card credentials. Remember these credentials are just for, if, for our verification and they will not be charging for us. But if you want, you can manually configure that you need to buy these services or you want some other extensions. Just if you configure them, then you will be asked something. Now, I'm from India and I'm going to give my number. That is 91594284333. So when I click on send text message, I'll be sent. Let me check it down. Uh, this text message, it will be received very soon. But sometimes it will take a little delay. But don't worry about it, you will get it. So I got it. It is... 140135. So now if I click on verify, this will be it will be late, but it will get verified. So now I'm giving my that's verified. Now it is going to ask me about my credit card and debit card details. So this will take a moment. See, these are the details you're going to give. Here they are asking my address, card number, and etc. So give me a moment. I'll give all my details and I'll show you in the next step because these are the personal details and it will not, it will not be good to share their own. So give me a moment, I will fill these details and I will come back to you. So here we go, I have given all my details and once again it has redirected me to the same page and once again I have asked to enter my phone number as a verification, I have did it. So look at this one, it is now verified and you can read this. Please enter the valid credit card information so that verify your identity. You will not be charged unless you explicitly transaction, sorry, transaction to be paid off. So remember when you explicitly 
avail that you need some offer then only you will be charged so you don't need to worry about it and finally i am going to click on i agree to the subscription agreement um, just sign up so this will take a little bit of time because you, it's going to create a new space for you on the microsoft azure so it will take a little bit time but not much nowadays you know azure is providing very fast services when compared to the beginning in the before two years it is like when you go for azure portal that is sure that you must have a larger bandwidth and also it will be taking a huge amount of time but look at this one it is great working a little bit fast and here this is saying that see so basically it was, it was showing like you will be getting four i mean it will be taking four minutes of time but it is so this is what i am learning in it as you now as you just works like we are working in a local environment though it works in a remote machine in a remote place and using the internet here the speed of azure it is quite different now it has been changed it is working very fastly so it is over now i have created an outlook account i mean using an outlook account you have created a free azure subscription and you have given your card details but don't worry you are not going to be charged but you are given a hundred dollar pass for one month so now i'll click on this that is get started with your subscription it will redirect me to my home page it will take little time because my bandwidth is a bit low oh god just a minute i'll connect my charger and come back yeah now we are logging to our azure portal and you can look at this one so i am having credit of 13300 rupees in the indian indian value so that means now it is valid for one month so to check this one let me click on the subscriptions so when you go there it will be showing that the amount which you have in your subscription and at the same time the amount which can which you can make use of so remember this is a one month trial pass for 13300 rupees and it will be getting expired even though if you don't make use of the whole credit within one month this is the first thing and the second thing is that this amount it is just a trial pass and don't fear again i'm saying don't fear that it is going to charge you since you gave your card details hope you like this one just do this create a new azure account make use of this one month subscription and you just learn a lot in the further articles i'll be explaining you about creating virtual machines, virtual networks and load balancers and also mapping a local domain and also purchasing custom domains and etc. So you can find all these even in my C Sharp Corner portal. So just go for the website C Sharp, C -Sharp Corner and search for Kishore Chaudhary. You'll be finding someone in the highest, I mean in the top rankings list. There you can find my articles. And probably my all the articles which I have written will be based on either IoT or Azure and only a few will be based on these Visual Studio environment where the, I will be explaining about the development, development concepts and I always go with these Microsoft products because I'm in love with the products of Microsoft I love the technology they provide us and hope you will do this and you like this too so remember if you get any doubts don't fear just make me a call or ping me or just mail me I can reply you so my network is a bit slow that is why it is not getting loaded give me a moment I'll pass the video and I'll uh, I mean I'll continue it again once this gets loaded let me see it is trying to load just give me a moment yeah here we go here when I click on my subscription it is showing me two things one is DreamSpark and then one is free tier. so this DreamSpark which I have created before a few years and I got a chance to have a DreamSpark account uh, now this is a free trial right I have used this one so when I click on this it will get loaded so here I can see my billing information and other details so this account to mine will be from 2-5-2017 to 3-4-2017 that is for exactly one month and I have not yet used anything right so in the billing overview over it is not showing anything see this is the credit remaining that is 30.3k the same thing so here I can see the invoices I mean if I do some sort of I mean spending it will be shown in here and the cost analysis here you can make an assumption and by the subscription which you want to use and also the services which you are going to use and so that you can get an idea about what you are going to spend and finally this is the thing so here you are getting your subscriptions right so in this subscription you have this one so I have I already I have explained in this following article I will be speaking about getting a trial account so this shows you that you can get a trial account just by using your details hope you like this one we'll see you in later and this following email id is not my id because 
my id is already indulged with the msds subscri msdn subscription and that is why i am unable to get a free account that's why i took my french mail id and i used it so again i'm coming to back, coming back to this myself kishor chaudhary and don't forget just go to c sharp corner and check my article so that you'll get an idea and just see and if you get any ideas or if you get any doubts just feel ping me and also don't forget to subscribe my page i'll be posting about it more by posting a lot other videos about in this but in the in my page for sure i'll be speaking about only the microsoft technologies and along with me my another friend will be combining you within a few couple of days his name is mr akshay rao and i'm i have his only his mail id in here so he will be speaking about the android application developments using xamarin android studio hope you like this yeah we'll catch you later bye bye